In this tutorial, we'll show you some features of the DNA Nexus Genome Browser. We'll launch the browser by clicking the Browse Genome link for the HG18 human genome. The DNA Nexus Genome Browser is composed of multiple data tracks, currently reviewing three tracks, the ruler, showing us where we are in the chromosome, the reference genome, and the RefSeq genes track. Tracks can be added or removed by clicking the Configure button in the top right corner of the browser. We'll start by adding some additional tracks of interest. We're also going to add the alignment and coverage track for a sample that we previously uploaded. We'll click OK and you can see those tracks are immediately added. You can zoom in or out of your current view by clicking the plus or minus icons in the top zoom bar control. You can also grab the zoom marker and drag it to the desired resolution. To zoom in on an area of interest, you can grab the rectangle tool in the top left corner and click and drag a rectangle over the area of interest. You can pan your display by clicking and dragging anywhere on the browser and moving your mouse to the right or left. You can also use the left and right arrows on your keyboard to pan the display by a full screen. Tracks have additional controls for their rendering. We can see here for the alignment track, we can vertically scale the alignments using the plus or minus controls. We can also change the way that they're rendered by changing between lines or base pairs. Tracks also have their own help content. To view the help, click the small help icon in the top right corner of the track. Tracks can be resized by clicking and dragging the bottom border of the track to the desired height. Tracks can also be rearranged. You can do this by clicking on the title of the track and dragging it to the desired location. Lastly, to export a screenshot of your current view, right-click anywhere on the browser, select Save as PNG, and you'll be prompted to save a screenshot to your local file system. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to email any questions to support at dnanexus.com.